Putin is paralyzed, the Russian army runs out of ammunition, causing the whole army to fall into a state of panic. Putin is facing disaster when everything is against him. Russia's resources are rapidly dwindling after a five-week battle that saw repeated bombings of Ukrainian towns and logistical difficulties weaken Putin's army. Russia's deputy defense minister earlier this week announced that the battle had entered phase two. According to him, Russia's next move will be to withdraw its troops from Kiev and focus all its efforts on the Donbass region in the east. The war is entering a tense period when the Russian army faces a fierce response from the Ukrainian army. How ironic if this is true. Certainly Putin's attempt at an invasion turned out to be one of the worst in history. Apparently he didn't play the risk or strategy board games as a boy. Many of the most important Russian military weapons are produced at Ukrainian facilities, which leaves Russia short of weapons that can be used in combat. On the other hand, this indicates a very low level of education and planning in the Putin's army. It seems really possible that the world powers could send their armies to and take over Russia in 10 days. Steel tanks made in Germany, 90 old rifles, ammunition parts made in the country these idiots are attacking. In the current situation, his invasion plans are in jeopardy as it is discovered that he is lacking in tank, missile and fighter capabilities. Russian helicopters, warships and cruise missile engines and a significant part of the engines for fighter aircraft as well as surface-to-air missile and tank components are all manufactured in Ukraine. On the other hand, I'm sure most of the Russian army would rather go back to Russia, with their families, than do the terrible thing they were ordered to do, this madman is responsible for all the crimes. This evil in one way or another. I really feel sorry for the Russian soldiers. The paratroopers will be the strongest young men who have devoted themselves to the country and the army. Putin needs to admit the truth, Russia has made a terrible tactical and strategic mistake. He needs to learn from history and retire early. Imagine if Napoleon had retreated before his disastrous retreat or that of Saddam Hussein. The Russian language is large enough, Putin should focus on developing this vast country. Western officials mostly reject the notion that the significant Russian military casualties and the thwarted advance near the Ukrainian capital Kiev were part of the war, another source said. Putin's strategy. The Kremlin also claimed that the withdrawal was in part aimed at promoting peace talks between the warring nations, but this assertion was quickly overshadowed by stories of dead bodies and homes. The Russians were brutally trapped as they fled.